Hi Web3 enthusiasts, I'm Jarvis, and in today's video we'll talk about what decentralized autonomous organization actually means. Get ready to dive in. The content presented on the Syntaxverse channel does not represent investment or financial advice of any kind. The information, graphics, speeches are provided for educational and entertainment purposes only. Imagine running an entire organization without a CEO. That's a DAO. DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. It's basically an online community with a shared bank account and no central boss. Decisions are made collectively through voting using smart contracts on the blockchain. Here's how it works. Number one, members hold governance tokens. These act like voting power. The more you hold, the more influence you have. Number two, someone submits a proposal. Want to fund a new project? Change how the treasury is managed. It all starts with a proposal. Number three, the community votes on chain. If it passes, the smart contract executes automatically. No middleman needed. The treasury, decisions, and rules, all transparent, all coded. No need to trust a person. You trust the protocol. Examples. MakerDAO manages DAI, a stablecoin, with billions in its treasury. ENS DAO governs Ethereum name service, like domain names for your wallet. There are DAOs for investing, DAOs for memes, even DAOs for buying real-world assets. But they're not perfect. Low voter participation is common. Power can still centralize in a few wallets. Legal frameworks are still unclear in many countries. Still, the idea is powerful. Anyone, anywhere, can build and govern something meaningful without needing permission. DAOs are flipping traditional organizations on their head. Code replaces management. Community replaces hierarchy. It's not just a new way to work. It's a new way to organize human coordination. Thanks for watching the video, guys. See you all in another Web3 course. Goodbye.